so I know I'm back with another haul video and I know you guys are pretty like you're pretty like <laughs> I know you guys are pretty much like oh another haul video but I know you guys love them right you guys love them so anyways please excuse my Christmas shirt um, I got this like a while back ago I think it was like the first year I started working at Forever 21 um, but anyways um, I'm here with you guys for a Sephora haul and a small Forever 21 jewelry haul so I'm gonna get started with Forever 21 because it's like no small so I got some earrings that I've been eyeing on for a while and oops, um, I thought they were really cute and these were $5.80 this is what they look like they're just pretty much some like dangly earrings with crosses it has a cross over here and a cross on the bottom the bottom one has rhinestones like little like diamonds and whatever and I just thought they would look very very cute um, did I mention they were 580? Oh, anyways, 580. And then, the next pair of earrings. This is actually like a little set. This one was 480. And it comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 earrings. Um, the majority of them are studs and the rest are like the dangly earrings. So, this is what those look like. And they're very cute. I like this one right here. And I like the little like pyramid studs. Those are like a like a I don't know coppery kind of color. So I thought they were really cute, so I got these. Then I got these babies right here. These were 580 and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six as well. And it comes with like this huge black balls. Um some stud cross earrings some hearts and some like a pointy spike stud I don't know then the rest were like little circles so I thought they were cute and is that it? yeah that was it um, I also bought a mustache necklace let me go get that Okay, I'm back, y'all. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the one that I got. It's just a gold um, mustache necklace. They had silver, but they ran out, I guess. I don't know. This one was only $2.80, so very affordable. And that's what that looks like. Okay, now for my Sephora haul. I am super excited for this because it's things I've been wanting to try. And I'm like, you know what? I just got to get on the ball and buy it. So, the first thing is, you guys know that, oh my gosh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm getting sick, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm on my cosa and whatnot. Um, I had gotten the Urban Decay setting spray, like, to try out. Um, from my my beauty points rewards or whatever so I fell in love with it and it's the Urban Decay D Slick the oil control setting spray I fell in love with it it really does control my oiliness in my face and I'm like oh my gosh I got to get the full bottom one I was going to get the one like the extra large one um, on their website the Urban Decay website but uh, I hate waiting for things so I just got it at Sephora, even though they had it for $18 in the website and I was buying it for $29, but I'm like, ugh, okay, I just gotta buy it, so I got it, amazing. Next thing I got from Urban Decay was their Naked Urban Decay Skin Foundation. Um, I've heard lots of good reviews. I wanted to get my first initial um, thought that I wanted to get was the... Kat Von D one, but I had such a hard time trying to figure out what, you know, foundation was going to be right for me, so I was watching all of them, and they all looked very, like, pinkish to me, I don't know, I just couldn't find one that was, like, 
correct shade for me. And oh my gosh, when I was swatching them, I was like falling in love with the the coverage. It was like oh my gosh, like full coverage, like heavy duty full coverage. And I'm like, I want it, but I mean, they didn't have my um, skin tone color, whatever. So the one that I got from Urban Decay was shade number six. And I didn't get help from anyone, so hopefully it's my correct shade. Um, but this is what the bottle looks like, and it feels cool. It feels like a, like, I don't know, a spray paint bottle or something, because, you know, you have to shake it, shake it up, and it has, like, a little ball in there or something. I don't know, but I'm really excited to try this out. Um, so, I can't wait to do a review on this. Then the next thing I got from Urban Decay was the... Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. That's what that looks like. I got this because every person uses this in their tutorials. Either this one or Sin. Um, they don't use the original one anymore. Well, not that I've seen. Um, so, I, I don't know. I just had to get this. And Dulce Candy is the one that always uses this. So, I'm like, I have to get it. Um, I remember I bought the original one when everyone would always like show it in their videos. When I first started doing YouTube, like, oh, I'm such a nerd. Um, like, I would, okay, you know the things that I would see everyone use in their videos? And I had to get them. The Coastal Scents 88 palettes, like every single one, I had to get them, so I got them all. Um, the NYX Jumbo, the NYX Jumbo pencils, like in Milk and Black Bean. I had to get those too, so I got them. And um, the Urban Decay Primer Potions, I also had to get it. Um, but anyways, the next thing I got was Benefits Erase Paste. Now, I was debating in either getting this one or the Boing one, but the Boing one looks very, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, you'd like, I don't know, that one just really didn't catch my attention. And this one did, like, I don't know, it really looks like it's like some good, like, coverage concealer. And it comes with like this little thing in the inside that shows you how to do it or how to apply it. A little spatula. And, uh, if I just can take it out. Oh, okay, never mind, I'll leave it in there. But that's what that looks like on the inside. So. I'm going to try all this stuff tomorrow when I'm going to work. Now the last thing is, I got myself a new Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara because the one that I have right now, I feel like I'm already about to like burn out. Even though I probably still have a lot, but I love it so much. I love how it leaves my eyelashes and I just had to buy a backup of like, I need it. I need it now. And then also my Anastasia Brow Gel OMG. OMG to infinity and beyond. Oh, to infinity and beyond. I have an infinity tattoo. If you guys can see it, I just got it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I drew this with eyeliner. And so, and this one too. Oh, I can't show you guys perfectly, but ugh, it's a cross. I was bored, so. Um, anyways, the brow gel. It feels amazing when you apply it on your um, brows. It feels like hairspray. Not like it leaves them stiff or anything, but you can feel like they're hard. Like, it, it feels hard, and it leaves your um, eyebrow hairs in place. So, I asked the lady, like, how many points do I have? And I had to get another one. I had to get a little backup. I think two of these would make up a whole one. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. So I'm kind of excited to have an extra one. I need to buy the full version of it. So that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I posted a picture of some swatches of my recent lipstick purchases. And I said that Antwerp is my absolute favorite. That's what I have on my lips right now, and ah, I'm so freaking in love with it. It is amazing. Like I love it. How I don't know. It it is pretty drying on my lips. I will admit, but I don't care. It leaves my lips looking amazing. Like I just love how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please
please excuse my sinuses and my weird voice. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.